about 10 years ago, I wanted to study uh, the rate at which police enforce prostitution laws. Prostitution is a, uh, an optional crime. Some police departments enforce it and some don't. So I needed to get the Uniform Crime Report, which is the FBI reporting on various offenses. And I contacted the University of Missouri, which has a database library for such information. They gave me the UCR, but they threw in for free a copy of the Supplementary Homicide Report, the SHR, okay. which had row after row of information about uh, murdered victims. And I wondered immediately whether it was possible to develop a computer program that would link serial killings in that file. The primary thrust of the Murder Accountability Project will be to make the public more aware of how often police fail to solve murders and the kinds of murders they tend not to solve. Uh, we will be informational, but also it is our hope to make information more available. Many police departments are choosing not to voluntarily report critical information about homicide. Mm -hmm. uh, the public has a right to know that. I believe that if we exercise our full rights under the Freedom of Information Act laws, that we will win those cases in which police are reluctant to report how often homicides are occurring, how often they are solved, and what kinds of cases those are. I would hope that the Murder Accountability Project creates a buzz within the public uh, to increase interest in holding police and elected officials accountable for the rate at which murders are solved. There's no reason for a third of all murders to go unsolved, and in some places for more than half of murders to go unsolved. There's no reason for that at all. A, um, a dedicated police department that is serious about solving murder will. And so it is my hope to create that buzz.